You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Check it out now. Of the best entertainment. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Best of the Best Entertainment presents your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, 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 what's going down? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we got a special one. <laughs> we got the infamous, the public figure, community leader, musician, event planner, creative director, survivor, mentor, teacher, and more. <laughs> Did I put that in? Did I put it in? <laughs> yeah, that's how I'm rocking about right. <laughs> Everything, the guru. I'm going to have you introduce yourself. Yes, so. thank you. I'm Jasmine Tyler, um, the CEO of Keep Your Head Up Society and the co-founder of We Locked In. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for coming to the show, You're first of all. Thank you for having me. I Absolutely. So uh, what's up? So what's up? What's up? Man, feel good to be home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's home? What's home? What's home? Um, Milwaukee. Yeah. I can feel good if like we have our ups and downs and our pros and cons, but overall, it's it's no place like home. Right. Right. It's right. Not- so uh, where, where did you come from? Like, where, um, where did you go? Like, the past few years, I've been quite a few places, most recently Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. So we've been seeing you out here. We've been seeing you doing a, a, a lot. And like everybody know, like this Iris and classic <laughs> that's going on. Yeah. So, that's why I brought you to the show. Like, what is going on? So, what is, like, explain what's going on is exactly with this Iverson, Darius, Miles, everything you got going on. Got you. Okay. So, the classics, I started off as a community partner a couple of years ago. Um, from there, it wasn't like an official position, it was just more so like a partnership. Um, just been putting the work in, and I got um, an award this past spring, actually, on my birthday from them. Wow. Um, and then nice. uh, the promotion came to make me the director. Yeah, thank wow. you. Wow, so y'all got, y'all got something in the works right now that y'all are planning on right now. I just seen you post a flyer this while. Yep, asking, so. so what it is is the classics is pretty much the All-American. Um, and there's branches up under the Iverson Classics umbrella. So Darius Miles has his league. Um, Larry Hughes is coming on this winter and then Stephen Jackson. Um, so there's multiple games and multiple places, and then from those games, whoever makes it to the All Star during the spring, then we have the dunk contest, the uh, you know MVP. Um, wow. Yeah, just like the scouts are there, the NBA scouts are there. So did that have any? Not to cut you off. Did that have anything tied in to, to the event you had at the Silver Spring Center? Um, so that wasn't for the Iverson classes. That was actually for Tay Day. Tay is the. Oh one yeah, lady. you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. right. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, it's okay. So, um, but I brought Dar- Darius. Um, Darius's family. Shout out to Bobby Bates too. Bobby is the co-founder of the Iverson Classic, um, and Jay Mansell. Uh, but Darius's family. Like, he's family. Um, We got some stuff going on this winter in his hometown in East St. Louis. She's just dropping dropping names. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Darius Miles, Iverson, and then politics, too. So let's touch on your your ties with politics. You got got a strong pull with politics. So let's... So I've always been... Well, first and foremost, like Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. always say, everything is political. So from the shirt you got on to the hat you wearing, the brands, everything that we do is political. Um, So politics plays a huge part in um, our well-being. It's not a matter of um, who you support, you know what I'm saying, but more so how can you make it work in the interest of us? Because we all know that the system was never, you know, built for us in the first place. So to me, it's just um, politicking with you know, some politicians and people in different fields and kind of bringing it all together to find a solution for, you know, for everybody. Nice. Um, but yeah, it, it's some dope. Uh, we got some dope elected officials. We got some questionable ones, too. Um, <laughs> so for the most so part. who would you who would you vote for to, or who like what elected officials that you think is dope? Let's drop those names. Uh, I, um, I mean, there's there's. Only a few that I work with. Um, I work real close with Auto Woman Cox. Um, I actually started working with Auto Woman Cox a decade ago, around the time that Derek Williams was killed by the Milwaukee Police Department, um, and that happened in her district. And that's how you know we built a friendship. Um, 
And then um, I've done work with a former auto woman, Chantia Lewis. She's actually the reason why we were able to do the lock-ins. Like wow. all of that happened. Nice, you know, nice, nice, with nice. A partnership with her and her advocating for it. It's funny that you brought up the lock-ins. We're gonna we're gonna touch back on that, but these lock-ins, this yes. is if if you haven't brought your kids to these lock-ins, it's the safest, dopest, litest. Yes, it <laughs> and is. And it's like you so you feel so safe too, and it's just the kids, the 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 way they face light up is yes. like, what are it, you serious? It's a good feeling. This last one, um, I was talking to Vine, I was telling them how, you know, I started tearing up a little bit when they was in the gym. Um, when Big Frank came to the last one, shout out to Big Frank, shout out to Lil RB. Yeah. You know, they they come through and they really rock with the babies. But when he came, all of the uh, the youth were like having dance battles. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's something that we don't see no more. Wow. So for me, it was just like. Y'all got to get there. You, I'm telling you, bring your kids. And, and I even see adults in there just. Yes. And they're, they, you just want to help when you're there. It's crazy. So like, if y'all want to tap in with that, man, y'all make sure y'all hit her up. But you, you yes. saying what now? No, it's like, it's a great feeling. Um, this last one, well, the one that we have for today, we put it out and it like pretty much sold out the first five hours. All of the tickets went out. Um, it's very strategic. The programming that we have, last, the last event we had sewing, uh, we did board games, movie nights and stuff like that. We give out cash prizes to the youth. Um, we give out cash to the, the kids who help with cleaning up and stuff. Uh, we connect them with resources outside of the lock-ins. Um, and yeah, it's a huge announcement coming with that too, with the like. Oh is. man, yeah. I appreciate you for letting me sponsor. She let me sponsor a music yes. video, beef, a beef yes. package or whatever. Yes, we gotta get Janae to you too. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Tap in, man. You gotta tap in. You gonna get your 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 free your yes. freebies. But yeah, so it's funny that um, that we touching on music because. You got ties with music, like he used to rap and all kind of stuff, yep. man. Like, well, I don't know if he still do. I don't, I don't even want to use used to. So, so, so like, what does music mean to you? Like, music. Um, where did it start from? I don't know. Even what the, what, the, what they even ask? Like, what? Like, you no, know? it's cool. Yeah. I love music. I'm just I fought in in and out of love with it. Okay. That's the problem. I feel like I've given it so much, and it what it used to give me, it doesn't give me anymore. Um, and my best friend, shout out my best friend, C. Bella. Um, we started rapping together in eighth grade. And she be telling me all the time, like, you got to get back out here. But I'm just in a space where um, I like the behind the scenes more. Yeah. Like, I was out in the front all the time performing, right. you know. Um, but music, so it actually started when I was younger. My cousin, um, one of my big jazz, she, I would go to their house, she would have all these Word Up posters on her wall. You, the Tupac, the Biggie, the Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige, just different people, the Yo-Yo Mac, you know what I'm saying, the what, magazine. What, you said big jazz, you're not talking about Guy, are you? No, uh-uh. <laughs> you got <jokes>, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, she would, you know, she was a, a hip hop fanatic and she played Bone Thugs and Harmony, just different people, right? And then every Christmas when I was young, my mom would give me a Walkman or a CD, oh, you know, like a tape man. player or a wow. Walkman CD player. Yeah. And um, I kind of start grabbing, I feel like I use that in basketball as a way to kind of take my mind off my reality. And, you know, cause we didn't, we didn't have a lot when we was growing up. So just putting me in a different space and allowing me to, you know, dream. Yeah. Um, and I started like in the city when I was 15, like I started building my name at 15. So. I've been around since I was 15 years old. Um, I started actually rapping in seventh grade with Pizzle Oki. Uh, we had a rap group Jeez. at Morris Middle School. Wow. That was the first time all of us rapped. Shout out Pizzle Oki. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Running Rebels. They, they was all locked in over there too, wasn't yep. they? Wow. So we started crazy. in seventh grade and then I met my best friend, C. Bella. Um, she moved on my block on 14th of Burley in the eighth grade and me and her started rapping. By 15, um, rest in peace, Kool Aid. I met Kool Aid. I was gonna ask. I rapped my you way that. backstage. Wow, yeah. so stay, stay right there. So um, so let's touch on um, Black Music Month. Okay. What's your ties with that? Because I, I see. Uh, yep, you so got ties. David Crowley, he actually put um, 
he created, I want to say, a resolution that put Lala and Kool Aid's name um, under, you know, honoring them, and which is so dope because that is so dope. They did a lot. Um, Kool Aid did a lot at a young age for the city. Right. One of the best producers to ever do it. So you um, just dropping again. You dropping names and dropping names. Man. You dropping names. These people. <sighs> Shape the the music wow. that we have you hear today. Me. Yep. You hear me? But wow. I met them. Um, you got ties with Hollywood too. Man, listen. Ah. Uh, Rest in peace, Hollywood, man. So what was your ties with Hollywood? Hollywood was the first. Uh, so everybody is doing like the internet radio and podcasts and stuff like that. He really kind of was the first person in Milwaukee that started that with Try Radio. Try or die, man. He was the and he broke my record. Like him in L.A. Man, shout out to Pete Hollywood. Man, I love that man. Man, rest up wood. Um, and Core DJ LA. When I say they kept my music in heavy rotation, like the first wow. ones to, you know what I'm saying, do it on that level. What song? What song was this, Josh? This was 2000 and what 11. So that would have to be the Money Made Rich song um, that I had with um, in the Business MOB. Um, I think that was a Money Made Bitch song back then because wow. she jazzy had came out a few years before that. Wow, man, yeah. y'all tap, y'all gotta tap in with jazz. Like jazz is going crazy. <laughs> so we finna, uh, we finna dig a little deeper because uh, I mean, it, it's you. Okay, I'm just gonna use words. Faith. Mm -hmm. What does what does that mean to you? Fake. Faith. Faith. Having faith is believing in the unknown. Like, it's my faith is what got me here. I promise. Now, what, what I've learned to do was have faith during, during the most hardest times. Um, no matter how rough it get, no matter how bad it got, I never, like, cursed God. I never did none of that. You know, I actually thanked them and praised them for everything I was going through. And I, the more I started to believe that it would happen, it happened, you know. Yeah. So just having, and I mean like a, a, like a belief system that's out of this world, you know. So it's one thing to say, um, I want to do this or I have faith. But if you actually, if you don't actually believe that it's going to happen, then there's no, you can't say that you have faith. You know, mm. it's like we we want stuff to happen and we want to believe that it's going to happen. And we try to trick ourselves into believing that it's going to happen. But the reason why it doesn't happen is because there's an ounce of doubt that people have. And I had to remove all ounce of doubt. There is no doubt inside talk. of me. You better talk. <laughs> like, and I, I'm, at, I'm at the point now where he's done so much for me. It's nothing that I can, I feel like it's nothing I can't do. Like, whatever it is I want to do. And I've proven it. I'm going to do it, you know? So, and, and the reason why is because I believe I'm going to do it. And, wow. I, and I have that faith of knowing that it's going to happen. Wow. I needed to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, see, I don't know. I, yes. I needed to hear that. I needed to hear that. Um, you survived breast cancer. Let's, let's, yep. let's touch on that. Um, oh, so today, October 1st. So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Wow. And Are you working pink, too? No, this is red. Oh, okay. It looks pink, though. <laughs> I'm no, like, never. Uh, breast, uh, this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Wow. And this is actually uh, the 31st will be four years of me being cancer-free the 31st of this month. Congratulations, um, Thank woman. you. Congratulations. I think that was a turning point for me. That was when I realized that I couldn't play with my life no more. So um, I think I'm a little more serious than what I used to be. And it's because I know what it's like not knowing if you're going to live. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So um, I didn't want it to be a situation where it's, it's like pitiful. Right. You know, um, in my mind, it was like, man, no matter what the outcome is, I'm going to give it my all. But if it is a situation where I can still live, then I'm going to make sure I be the best version of myself so I can carry out my purpose. Um, once I, you know, everything was taken away from me during that time. Literally, my job, my house, my car. I, I was going through a divorce at the same time. Everything. And it was the best. That was the best part of my life ever. Because in that moment, it was a, I realized, like, it's okay to transition into the woman that I want to be. 
And I stopped playing. I stopped playing with my talents. I stopped playing with my purpose. I stopped playing in general. Um, I can honestly say since then, I've probably, every year I've prospered. Like in everything I do. Because I just, I have a zero tolerance attitude now. You know, if you, nobody that's around me, they, if they not in purpose, it's a wrap. If you're not walking the righteous path, it's a wrap. When I, when I tell you, you could feel the positivity in the room just sitting next to her, like, man, like, it's just, you just feel the, you feel the energy you, you, that you exude. I appreciate um, that. I have a question, because mm -hmm. my, my child's sitting right here, like, what did that mean to your children? Like, when you, you have children, right? Yep, I have okay, three. So, like, what did, like, how did you? So, my son, my son, my, my children were young. They were, like. I want to say 10 and 11 when that happened, and then my one-year-old. Uh, I mean, my five-year-old was one, but my son asked me if I was going to die because my aunt had just passed a year previously to cancer unexpectedly. Oh, my God. And that was the first time on my mom's side that we had dealt, you know, with a death. And um, that question, when he asked me, it was just like, Man, like when I leave, you know, that's a scary feeling. Not knowing yeah. if you'll be able like, to be you, here to take yeah. care of your, your baby. So that's what really, really made me um, go hard the way that I've been going hard. Because tomorrow and I promise, and I know people say it all the time, but it's like every day I go hard like it's my last day. Like wow. for real. Wow. But they was, it was, you know, it was a mental thing for them. Um, them seeing me, you know, go through it, but I think it was necessary. So like, it shows them how strong their mama is too. Right, you had to protrude, you had to show like how strong you were. To, yes. To, so they wouldn't see that you down and- I never cried. I think I ain't cried until like a year after everything. <sighs> like I just was, man, listen, if people didn't <sighs> have the stuff I went through. Jab. <laughs> <laughs> listen. I'm telling you. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drop another word. Healing. Mm. You can't be successful in no area in your life if you don't heal properly. Um, I had to heal from childhood trauma. Um, still healing right now. Um, there's no way I can love the world the way I do until I heal myself first. And I've always had a love for people, but sitting with myself for months at a time away from the world um, allowed me to deal with myself. And mm. it, it allowed me to heal so that I can help others heal. <clears throat> like I said, I'm still in the process of healing, but I feel like um, I've healed a lot from when I first started the process. Um, I can't do anything if I have malice in my heart or any type of regret or anything, you know? So for me, healing is um, an ongoing thing. Um, there's no way you can completely be healed because we face trauma every day just being black. <laughs> I know, you know, right, right, right. So the healing process is the process. It's gonna continue to be a process. Like we have to heal our, our, body, our bodies and minds daily. And you know, it's funny you say that. If you remember what you're saying, but it's like uh, you got me thinking. Like a lot of time, we try to tell people what they should do, or and you hurting in the inside. Mm -hmm. Like you could possibly be passing that down to them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's like, wow. Like you literally have to heal yourself before what you just said. Yes. You know, before you pass that on to somebody else. Yep. Wow, that's deep, Josh. You do. Wow. You have to because. If you not, if you don't, you're gonna spill out negative vibes, you know, everywhere you go, right. or you're gonna hold somebody else accountable for what somebody else did to you, and that's not fair. Jeez, that's not it's fair not. at all. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, in case y'all just tuning in, man, we with Jazz Tyler, the infamous. You got so much going on, it's crazy. So, um, who would you like to work with? And what arena? <laughs> I know, right? That is so vague. I'm just gonna leave it's that okay. as vague as it, is, as it is because you got many passions. Um, like, who is who is the person you just like? Dang, I just I want to work with them. 
Um, who, okay. I'll leave that open to you. So if we talk in music, like, and this is not just me rapping. This is like, whether it's behind scenes, community, whatever. Um, Mary J. Blige. She's, I, I can see that too. Yeah, like, I, whatever, <laughs> I just want to do something with her. Like, she just, I grew up listening to her. She was one of my favorite people. She's just so dope to me, man. Auntie Mary will get you yes, through it, bro. Like, <laughs> she's so authentic. I um, can see that too. Basketball wise, who I haven't worked with, um, <laughs> it's hard because it's like the person I wanted to work with, you know what I'm saying? You like, tapped in yeah. With. Um, I would have to say, my, okay, so let me say this. I had a favorite player before Chuck, before Iverson was my favorite player. Dude never called him Chuck. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> my first favorite player was Penny Hardaway. Jeez. It was Penny, wow. then it was Iverson. Jeez. Yeah. So, my, it would be Penny. Penny Hardaway. Yeah. Um, Penny Hardaway. Tina Thompson, Cheryl Swoops. I was just going to ask you, like, what about WNBA? Wow. Cheryl Swoops, wow. Tina Thompson. That's not too far gone, though. Like, you you already, you know? Man. Wow. Like, Bring yeah. them to the Cheryl, mill, Jazz. Cheryl Miller. Yeah, like. Wow. I want to I wanna do something with them. And um, acting. So... I don't even know if people know or not, but I started acting in the eighth grade at the African American Children's Theater. So I've always been in like arts in some form. What was it you doing in the eighth grade, <laughs> man? <laughs> man, I was getting listen, I was getting to it. Um, <laughs> but um, so I'm into like writing scripts and like co directing, you know, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Um, acting, if I had a chance to do anything with an actor, it would probably be. Um, I don't know. I had probably uh, Angela. Angela's so dope to me, man. She's. Yeah, you she sure ain't gonna be Jasmine guy? You sure? You know what? You sure? I just watched her interview it's, on the Breakfast Club. I was like, wow. It is the weirdest thing to have somebody have your whole face Listen, and name. That like, is. I, I'm going to put a side-by-side -side on, that, on this interview. You, you got to see the resemblance. It, it took me a while, but I was like, okay, I see it. <laughs> like, yeah, I see it. I That's see funny. It. You started it when you said acting. We're going to keep that joke going. Yes. <laughs> but, yep. yeah, all right, man. So, y'all, we had to pick the brain of Jasmine Tyler, man. So, get your, get your shout-outs. Get your uh, where to find you at. Give like, all so, that. So, you can follow me on um, Instagram at the Jazzy Effect. Um, Facebook, Jasmine Tyler. Um, I just want to give a shout-out to my to my babies, man. They, My son, Keelan Tyler II, he's um, a sophomore now. He got wow. a second team all conference his freshman year. So, Come and he's the big number three, too. Come um, on. My baby girl, Kennedy, this her freshman year playing at MAS. And then my little daughter, Callie Rain, she a model. All, all three of them, they, they doing their thing. Come on, and man. And shout out to the city of Milwaukee, man. You know, I love the city. I'm going to rep the city until I can't rep it no more. So today is 10 one two, two. She got the lock-in going on. Yes. That's going on tonight. Get in touch with her on that. Again, get your... your uh, um, the Jazzy Effect on Instagram and Jasmine Tyler on Facebook. You lock in with that. What else you got? What you got coming up? What you got? Um, so, and this this exclusive. Yeah. I've been working on something. Um, we're doing a Textures reunion. Textures. October 20th. DJ New Styles. Greg. My guy Greedy. Tootie. Yep. We doing a Texas reunion, man. What? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's going down October wow. 20th at the old Texas. What? Yeah. It's going Come down. On. <laughs> Come on. Man. It's going down. Um, I'm riding your coattail. Right, listen, we trying to, you know, I'm a we. Chaser. <laughs> no, nah, you good? Come yeah, through, price, man, price. for real. We, it's going to be Thursdays, um, 90s and 2000s R&B. You know, that's that's hip hop like RB. Whole vibe. Yeah, it's just wow. something grown where you can have fun. The energy is good. Don't have to worry about no nonsense or nothing like that. Copy that. Copy um, that. There's some other stuff going on. Shout out to Princeton Epps and um, Mike Mills at Billy Bistro's. Um, I want to wait 
before I announced that, but okay. yeah, that's yeah, Mike Mills making moves. Shout out Mike, man. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. It's yeah. a it's a lot of stuff behind scenes that I can't discuss, but Facts. we got some good stuff coming to the city. Facts. Well, we gonna be on the lookout, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in the jazz again. We gonna drop yes. that social media. The Jazzy Effect at Instagram and Facebook, Jasmine Tyler. Yeah, man. So it's your boy Sir Quinn, man. We rocking out with it infamous i'm gonna keep on saying that <laughs> man we don't talked about health we talk about politics music yes. everything and everything is go it's on the up what they say is up and it's stuck or whatever but man that's it man we're gonna pick the brain the jazz tyler you already know what time it is your boy sir quentin Shh. shut up and hustle we out you're rocking with sir quentin best Check it out now. of the best entertainment Shut up and hustle.